Hi, Normandale. This is Pastor Rebecca with Midweek Greetings for all of you as NLC members. We are coming up on Reformation Day Sunday, and for us, this also means affirmation of baptism, when all of our confirmants affirm their baptism, the good work of God that's already begun and is at work in them. Today, I'm sitting in our nursery, a place of beginnings. Um, and how very thinking about how very important they are to our lives, these beginnings. And somehow yet they are not the whole story either. In improv comedy, the yes and principle exemplifies this pretty well. It's that premise that one person starts a sketch and they offer a piece of the story and the next person carries it forward. But by adding something more to the story, their own personal touch, their own flair, continuing the flow. So for example, actor one might say, mom, can I please, please, please have the car to drive around the town tonight? And actor two might say, yes, and son, just remember that Uncle Jimmy was working on it last weekend, and now the brake also honks the horn. And you're off and running with a premise for a plot. You're often running with what could be a really interesting comical sketch. In John chapter 8, Jesus says to those who'd believed, If you continue in my word, you are truly my disciples, and you'll know the truth, and the truth will make you free. Continue in my word. Pick it up and carry it forward. Keep living the promise and see where it carries not only you, but the whole church. So, yes and. Say yes and to God's spirit already alive in you, with the flavor all your own, your questions, your callings, your insight, your creativity. You are invited to the action. Uh, pray for our confirmeds and their families this week as they prepare and reflect and recommit to the work that God has already begun in them as they are invited to pick it up and carry it onward in their own unique way. Come this Sunday to bless them on their journey, affirming their baptisms. Also, some announcements for you. Our call committee uh, listening session is happening tonight, this Wednesday, 7 to 8 p.m. in the chapel. Last week, we took a break on some of our programming for MEA, but we are back with Sunday School for this Sunday and returning tonight. Uh, community meal, choir rehearsals, our children, youth, and family programming, uh, including bowling in the fellowship hall. And if you are parents of kids bowling tonight, uh, come also meet in the fishbowl. There's a way and a time set aside for you to connect with other parents. Um, in all community news, just a couple of things to trunk or treat is next Wednesday, the 30th from 6 to 8 p.m. out in the West parking lot. Wear a costume or decorate your trunk to give out treats or bring your kids to collect them. It is a fantastic time for everybody involved. So please just come. Afterward, on November 1st, uh, in addition to Sunday's All Saints worship, we're hosting a Saturday evening all Saints gathering outside in Trinity Commons uh, with a bonfire to honor all of our saints. Warm refreshments will be provided. So know that that is also an opportunity for you in addition to Sunday morning. And Sunday, November 3rd, is the National Lutheran Choir All Saints concert in the evening as well as the first of three delightful and delicious uh, financial pledge dinners, so make sure and sign up or register for those. We would love to have you. Those dinners are free and an incredible time to celebrate the beautiful community that God has built among us as we continue to say, yes, and. Have a wonderful week, you guys.